Hi, I am Father CM Paul, HOD Mass Communication at Solution College, Sonata. Today, my lesson is on plagiarism for the fourth semester students, CC8 Introduction to Social Media. Plagiarism. Surely, you have heard about it. Intellectual property, copyright, copyleft, piracy, and plagiarism. In the digital age, violation of these rights is extremely easy and routine. So, what is intellectual property? Intellectual property could be an idea, invention, or process that derives from the work of the mind or intellect of a person, as well as an application, right, or registration relating to this. Intellectual property is a property right that can be protected under national and state law, including copyrightable works, ideas, discoveries, and inventions. The term intellectual property relates also to intangible property such as patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. What is copyright? Copyright refers to the legal right of the owner of intellectual property. In similar terms, copyright is the right to copy. This means that the original creators of products and anyone they give authorization to are the only ones with the exclusive right to reproduce the work. What is copyleft? Copyleft, distinguished from copyright, is the practice of offering people the right to freely distribute copies and modified versions of a work with the stipulation that the same rights are preserved in the forthcoming works. What is the difference between copyright and copyleft? Copyrights exist in order to protect authors of documentation or software from unauthorized copying or selling of their work. A copyleft, on the other hand, provides the maximum freedom to the immediate downstream developers, including the ability to use the open source code in a closed source project, and provides a method for software or documentation to be modified and distributed back to the community, provided it remains free. What is piracy? Piracy refers to the unauthorized duplication of copyrighted content that is then sold at a substantially lower prices in the grey or black market. The ease of access to technology has meant that over the years, piracy has become more rampant. Online piracy is the practice of downloading and distributing copyrighted content digitally without permission, such as music, movies or software. The principle behind piracy has predated the creation of the internet but its online popularity arose alongside the internet. Despite its explicit illegality in many developed countries, online piracy is still widely done by many users due to many ethical reasons and its ease of use has only gotten better as technology advances. What is plagiarism? Plagiarism is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off as one's own. Plagiarism is copying another person's ideas, words or writing and pretending that they are one's own work. It can involve violating copyright laws. Writers who plagiarize commit serious legal and ethical violations. Plagiarism, again, is presenting someone else's work or ideas as your own. 
with or without their consent by incorporating it into your work without full acknowledgement all published and unpublished material whether in manuscript or printed or electronic form is covered under this definition here are some examples of everyday plagiarism a writer decides that he wants to create an internet website to generate advertisement revenue instead of writing his own articles he visits 20 other websites that have articles on the topic in which he is interested he copies each of the articles changes the titles and the authors names to his name and posts the articles on his own website in another instance an academic is expected to publish papers but he doesn't have the time to research because of family obligations he looks through old professional journals in another country and he copies a 10 year old article from someone else in the field he submits the article as his own and hopes that no one finds the article from which he copied a third case student is expected to write a book report about a book that his teacher has assigned the student doesn't want to read the book and is bored with the subject he visits websites that provide reviews and book reports and he copies from each of the different book reports to create one report of his own fourth instance another student is expected to write a research paper on a topic in his history class the student had a friend who took a similar class 5 years ago the student asks his older friend for a copy of his paper and then takes the paper and passes it off as his own turning it in to the teacher with his name on it fifth case a student takes a large block of text from a book and quotes it in his own paper word for word the student puts a footnote into the paper indicating where the text came from but the student does not give any indication in the text that he or she is quoting directly from the paper well plagiarism is the most common issue that every academic writer faces while writing his or her research paper or dissertation the famous plagiarism checking tools such as dupli checker or turn it in are classifying the plagiarisms into 10 common types before generating the report today we shall find out 10 types of plagiarism that every academic writer should know to avoid it first clone plagiarism cloning plagiarism is also called identical copying in cloning one person copies another work word for word without any change and claim as his own work two remix plagiarism in the remix type of plagiarism one person collects information from various sources and mix all together as a single document then claim the work as his own work 3 control c plagiarism in the written document a significant portion of text copied from any single source without any alteration then it is called control c kind of plagiarism that is cut and paste number 4 hybrid plagiarism in the hybrid type of plagiarism perfectly cited source documents are copied and arranged as a new document without a citation number 5 find replace plagiarism changing the most common keywords and phrases in the copied content and not making any changes in the essential document is called find and replace kind of plagiarism 
Number 6 Recycle plagiarism Recycle is also called self plagiarism It refers to the act of borrowing from one's own previous document without a proper citation Number 7 Mash up plagiarism When the written document is copied from more than one source and all are mixed together without any proper citation then it is called mash up kind of plagiarism number 8 four of four error plagiarism four of four error that is 404 error plagiarism is the eighth most important type in this a person creates a document by copying from various sources and prepare as a single document with the citation but if the citation is inaccurate or it will lead to non existing resources then it will be called 404 types of plagiarism number 9 aggregator plagiarism in this type of plagiarism the written document includes all the proper citation but it does not contain original work then it is called aggregator plagiarism and number 10 retweet plagiarism if all the written document seems perfect with a properly cited mark but still the document resembles somewhere the original text structure or wordings then it is called retweet plagiarism now how to avoid plagiarism here are some tips to avoid plagiarism first read and understand the original document several times then start explaining about it second do not copy any word or sentence from the original document third give proper citation to all the sources books journal website video and so on fourth in case of citing online sources include the accessed date and appropriate url in the reference fifth common phrases and definition need to be quoted and cited without any modification sixth make a practice to include the references section whenever you write an academic document seventh cross verify all your citations before submitting your document and eighth finally take a plagiarism report from any one of the famous plagiarism software to ensure the originality of the written document let me give you some open source plagiarism checking software the names only there are 10 of them first dupli checker second copy leaks third paper writer four plagiarism five plagiarism checker six plagiarism Seven, plague scan. Eight, plague tracker. Nine, Q text. And ten, wiper. Now to recap. Today we discussed intellectual property, copyright, copyleft, piracy, and plagiarism. Thank you.